internet. It is Wednesday the 20th of November 2019. Scenery behind me, right? That's scenery. Beautiful scenery. I'm at a place called Stewart's Crossing in Charles Young. Charles Young? I think that's how you say it. Why am I here? Good question. I hear you asking. This is sort of about halfway between where I live and Canberra. Probably more closer to where I live than the Canberra on the other side. And I had a gig in Canberra today. You know I've done some work with HP computers before. Uh, I have a marketing agency I work with. They booked me uh, last week up in Sydney and then this week in Canberra. So I fanged it down there this morning, got up at three o'clock, fanged it down there for the gig. And I had in my mind that I'd come back somewhere beautiful and camp in Stevan, as you see. Hello, Stevan. My plan was initially to scope this area out, potentially so I could maybe do some live streaming from here, but uh, there is absolutely no phone reception, no 4G reception here. I've been watching it as I go along. I've got my AC800, I'll show you my setup. And uh, yeah, there's just been none. Look, look, here we go, look. Steve Ann's rocking the Mimo antennas. And then, in here, got the uh, AC800 here. This generally, oh, well, it's turned off now, but that's generally the way I'm gonna get my reception. Mimo style! But unfortunately, that ain't gonna happen here. Instead, let's have some Jack. Got my favorite Jack, 1907, the best Jack. Absolutely beautiful, mixing it with Coke. It's been a long day, I'll tell you. Waking up at three o'clock, it's now 6 p.m. Woke up at 3, 3 a.m., fanged it down there. The job went till 1.30 p.m. Drove back here, I've got some food I'm gonna cook up. Gonna sleep in Steve Ann. I wanna show you, um, well, I guess, the main kind of, hang on a second, I haven't even had a sip of this. I feel like this is a live stream. This is kind of, I might even do this without many cuts, just like a, just like a straight up stream, almost, if you'll. Of course, when I go to whack the fly, he's gone. I'll show you the actual camping area because this is kind of just a little bit off, off to the start of it, I suppose. It's over yonder. You see a couple of crew over there doing their thing. There's another guy down the end down there. I probably won't go over there. I'll probably just hang here. There's no, there's no reason to go over there. I'll probably go over there in the morning to do a poo. But other than that, I'm pretty well self-contained here. Got the food, got the jack, got some water. You know the sleeping arrangements in Steve Han. Just gotta be arranged here. I've just gotta get in there and just move some stuff around, but that's just pretty much good to go. I'll show you from the backside. The main thing here will be um, mosquitoes, I guess, but I've got my fly screens all sorted, so should be good to go. Let's go down to the water here, because there's water all across here. Stuart and his crossing. Well, there's the crossing over there. Let's go down and see the crossing, eh? Let's do that. So this would be where Stewie crossed, hence the name Stewart's Crossing. I don't know who Stewart is. It's pretty nice, there's water. I don't know about swimming. I mean, kids, well, it's warm. You know what I did see though? When I initially turned up here, I was looking at a camping spot over yonder and I pulled Steve Ann in and there was a turtle crawling up across the, uh, the embankment. Let's go and see if it's still there. Oh, what a letdown. That's exactly where he was. He came all the way up from down there. <laughs> or she, it, came all the way up from down there and it was poking its head out watching me. Maybe I could try to track it from its trail. What kind of marks does a turtle leave? I don't know, but I know I'm not touching a turtle ever again. Do you remember that time at um, somewhere on a family holiday and I got salmonella poisoning from a turtle? If you don't recall, check this vlog up here. It wasn't fun and that's never gonna happen again, turtle. It's probably good that you disappeared. Now, if the flies could do the same, get out of here. These are the marks of a turtle. You can see where its two front feet were dragging itself through the dirt. Oh, crikey. Well, I apologize for not being able to find the turtle. There'd be plenty of them here, right? This whole area will be riddled with turtles. There is a kangaroo over there, though. If you want to see an Australian, uh, if you want to see another strange Australian animal, a kangaroo sitting right there. And by the way, my jack is empty, so we got to go back to Steve Ann anyway. So let's see if we can go and get a little shot of Skippy. Well, there you go, folks. Now, oddly enough, the irony of seeing two kangaroos here, you know, it's... It's not lost on me because all morning, see you guys. Look at that. What a strange animal, huh? See you later. Yeah, the irony of seeing kangaroos here, it's not lost on me because all morning whilst I was driving, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, this is the time when these guys come out and now at dusk, right? I didn't want to see a kangaroo at all and I saw two. I saw one 
fanging along the edge of the road. Sort of, see ya boys. Get him out of there. Go on. See you later. Yeah, I saw one go and bounce, bounce, bounce along the side of the road with me. That's scary because these things do all kinds of crazy stuff. Like they'll be going along, bang, 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 and then the next thing they'll go pop. You're thinking they're gonna go bang, 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 and then suddenly it's pop, and then it's whack into your, into your vehicle. Man, not cool. And then the other one I saw was way ahead of me, but it jumped out onto the road, did that silly little thing they stop, and then it looked down and kept going. By the time I got to where it was, I mean, I don't drive very fast in Steve Van. By the time I got to it, it was gone. But I mean, if you want to see kangaroos, come to Stuart's Crossing Campground. Did I mention this is a free campground? Free! Just bring yourself, and that's it. You just turn up here. Get to see kangaroos. If you've never seen a kangaroo, this is where you'd see them. And all over the country. All right, more Jack. This is uh, finished. I'll tell you what, it does look rad to look up and see Steve Van there. It's a beautiful van. Doesn't drive the greatest. Yeah, it's a beauty, like, I mean, I haven't used it for what I want as yet, but that's coming, that's coming. We've had some technical issues. The laptop I had wasn't powerful enough. Gonna be getting a new MacBook Pro very, very soon. Well, you know what's next on the agenda after the MacBook Pro? Steve Van's gonna need new tires. There's enough tread on these, right? There's enough left, but I think what I'm gonna do is, but to get it across Rego again, I'm gonna swap to the mud tires. There's a lot of tread on those. These things are like this thick. Swap to the mud. Or maybe I'll even continue driving with the mud tires on and then if funding gets better, I'll bump out for some new tires. At the moment though, everything's good. You know what's better? The jack. Let's pour another one. No ice, unfortunately. But I tell you what, these red party cups have a great line right there. It's like almost like a guide. I go a little bit above the line and everything's fine. A little above the line. Did I say a little of love? It's only my first one, this is my second. A little above the line and everything's fine. It's been a long day though. I am extremely tired, I gotta be honest. And then you go to that next line. So you got the line, the jack line and the coke line. Or the pop line if you're uh, playing from out of Australia. This is the live stream. This feels like a live stream, it's not though. Oh, that's a good mix. Yeah, Steven is a four-wheel drive, like a full-blown four-wheel drive, not a, ch not a child's kid's four-wheel drive, a full-blown four-wheel drive. You may think, why didn't you go down and park right against the water? Like, check this out. Why didn't I go down there and park up on any of those spots? And well, I'll tell you. I wussed it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I wussed out. I, I figured, there were two things going through my mind. What's the benefit of camping there over camping here? I can observe the water from here, or I could be almost on the water. What if there was some kind of flash flood? Now, there hasn't been any rain in a long while. In fact, we're getting smashed with bushfires and dry heat. So arguably, the most critical thing that could happen here would be a fire come flying through. And then ironically, I'd be safer down there. But anyway, that's what was going through my mind. Um, yes, this, this van can certainly do that, but am I that well equipped or skilled Man, I'm tired. I'm, I'm I'm mumbling my words here, and I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep this like a live stream. So I'm not well equipped enough to be able to know what to do in situations of what blah 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 blah. Let's go and have a look. So right about here would probably be the extreme bend, the most uh, I guess easterly point of Stewie's Crossing. So if you look up that way, you see uh, further that way, and if you look back. This way, you see further that way. So what I'm getting at is that I'm at the, the peninsula here. This is the edge. Now look, this sand, you could definitely see tire trails. People have been driving on here all the time. So I, I could do it and I, I probably should have, but I don't have, it's, it's not very thick sand. It's kind of coarse and I don't know. I'm just making excuses. I didn't do it and maybe I, I will do it another time, but this time, uh, no. Well, sun is setting behind me and I'm about to enter Steven. I'm going to sleep. I'll see you either in the morning or on the daily vlog. If you catch the daily vlog, it'll be here, 28 past, 26 past, somewhere about 3.30 a.m. I'll either see you there or in the morning. Well, good morning. Get some light up in here. Good morning. Strange way to wake up here at Stewie's Crossing. Check this out. Oh, you're kidding me, it's gone. 
Unbelievable. There was a truck there out across the ways and it was pumping water. That was going to be my piece about waking up here. It's beautiful, but don't be alarmed. If a big ass truck wakes you up pumping water, it was taking it was taking water out of the Is that a mosquito? It was taking water out of Stewie's crossing. Stewie, are you aware of this? That that truck was siphoning water. Man, it's beautiful in the morning here though. That's east. Sun comes up in the east. Let's have a look at it. And I was going to make some comment about how beautiful and peaceful it is with just the wildlife, but that was not my experience. My experience this morning was <laughs> pumping water, truck noise, 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 noise. But now we can just hear the wildlife. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, breakfast. Got my tea for you, governor. I've made a rookie mistake. I left all of my gear outside last night and it's all dewy. The chairs can't be sat in, they're covered in dew. They're in there sun tanning right now. So I'm gonna stand up and eat breakfast. Hey, rookie mistake, right? Well, hell. Hey, it's nature's own chair, all right? I don't need my chairs, I'll just use nature's chair. Nice to have a bowl of wheat bix and a hot cup of tea to start the bodily emotions moving. It's nice having breakfast outside, isn't it? Good morning, Stewie, and you're crossing, and good morning to the givers. Mm. Last night, there was so many frogs croaking. So what I did, and you won't see anything really, but I did make an audio recording of this sound because it was, it was beautiful, it was like an orchestra. And I went right down to the water's edge, like right onto the to the sandy bank, and I made this recording. And I want to play you just a snippet of it now, just uh, in case you've never heard Australian frogs in the wild. Well, this is the ones at Stewie's Crossing. <laughs> Old mate's back behind me. This is the noise I woke up to this morning. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's just road clearing, but he's gonna reverse up there and pile up and grab some water. I just went up to investigate the toilet situation here at Stewie's Crossing. It's actually Stewart's Crossing. I've been saying Stewie to be funny. Stewart's Crossing in Chaoyong. This is a free campsite. Now, if you can put up with old mate doing his water thing over there, then you've got yourself a beautiful spot here for zero charge. And I went up and investigated those toilets. Beautiful situation. Uh, unfortunately, nowhere to wash your hands, but you do have all of the water down there. But uh, what I did notice up there whilst on Candy Crush, there is a 4G signal. So if you are like me and you were looking for some kind of internet access to do live streaming, perhaps up there is your chance. You know what I wanna do? I wanna go up there and do an unlisted live stream from my mobile to YouTube as a test. So let's go and do that right now. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. keep running out of time on my own channel. You think I'd get that checked out by now, right? Hey look, if you like what you've seen here on the channel and you wanna contribute financially, there's plenty of ways to do that in the description field of this video. And if you haven't done this already and you wanna make sure you don't miss any of my future uploads, hit the subscribe button here. You can also check out my previous vlog here or a random vlog there. And you can become a patron of mine here. What's that? No, 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 I'm busy with my end slate. I'm busy with my end slate. I'll be with you in a few seconds. A few more seconds. A few more seconds is all I require. All right, I'm coming now.